In today's tutorial we have three sizes of hats and the title of this video is indicating what size we're working with today. We have the two to four of age size, we have the eight to ten years of age size and then we have an adult size right here. These are called the Ridges Family Crochet Hats. They are quite easy to make and again the title of this video is indicating which one that we'll be working with today. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're gonna work on the Ridges Family Crochet Hat. This is the adult size version. You're going to need a five millimeter size H crochet hook today. If and you're also gonna need some Karen one pound yarn. Now a whole ball of Karen one pound yarn will do a total of six of these hats. So let's get on with today's tutorial. So let's look at the pattern quickly together and you're gonna notice that all three dimensions or sizes of these hats are available on one uh, pattern. So it's only one page just like so. So you're gonna notice that each one of the instructions are available in a different color when it comes to doing the instructions here. So don't let this confuse you because not everything that you need to do over here applies to every one of the sizes. So the two to four is represented by this color and it says that one ball of Karen one pound can do 11 hats, eight to 10 years of age can do eight hats and then the adult can do six. So you're just matching the colors. So when you're going to do these instructions it's gonna say as we start and it's got the three digits there. So you just do the color that is the size that you want. So say you wanna do the two to four size and you know that the two to four size is this color. So when you go to chain you just look at the what color that you want to do. So it's 54 In the next round it's then a 54 again. But you'll notice that some instructions have nothing like that in there. So that just means that you apply these instructions to no matter what size of the pattern that you're doing. And when you come back then to round number three it says repeat rounds two and three and then it will say what the numbers are. So two times is the two to four, three times is the eight to ten and four times is the adult. So you just gotta follow the instructions looking for these particular colors in the instructions in order to tell you what to do. Another thing about this pattern that you should be aware of, we're used to doing hats always from the top working our way down to the forehead. This one we're gonna work from the forehead going all the way to the top of the hat. Now what you're going to notice in this particular one is that and it's just, it might just be me but it, it could be you as well is that I love working on hats because you can get like halfway down and then it slows down and then you can get to your final step. This one here it starts off slow in the sense of, of crocheting but as you work your way up it gets faster and faster and faster as you make your way to the top of the hat. So it's a bit backwards in the sense of timing so you're gonna invest more time right up at the front of the of the project and then as you get halfway through it's gonna get faster and faster. So if you look at it from that perspective because I know you're gonna start and you're gonna say man this hat's taking forever but it does speed up as you get closer to the top and just be aware of that. So let's start on the adult size hat. Now the adult size hat has 64 chains in it but I wanna show you a trick on being able to do this without twisting up your chain. So I'm going to crochet uh, 10 chains to start and I need a total of 64 for this. So let me show you the first 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now what I want you to do is carefully just slide this off your hook and insert the first chain onto the hook, push it all the way back to the end, okay, in my case right there and don't go all the way to the end end but just hold it out of the way and insert your hook back into that loop. So what I want you to do is I'm gonna do another 10 here and I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing is that I'm ignoring this first one over here right where I'm pointing. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. So I wanna go all the way to 64 but if you leave this on the very first point that you can chain your 64 on here and when you're done you can just simply pull through and your chain will not be twisted up. It's actually kind of a neat thing. I learned this on the crochet cruise. So please chain all the way to 64. I know how my 64 on the hook here and all I'm just gonna do is that I'm gonna just yarn over and pull through both and that completes off this. So this chain should not be all twisted up but we're going to start round number, round number one and we're going to chain up one and I want you to put in a single crochet in each 
of the chains going across. So only do one strand of the chain and just do one single crochet in each one all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of this round where I'll show you just to make sure you don't twist up your work at this point and I'll meet you back there, there in just a moment. So I'm coming up all the way around. I wanna make sure that this is not twisted up in any weird configuration. So I'm just looking to where the top is here and I'm following it around and I can see that it is not twisted. Okay, so just look at it here. So I got one more to go, just single crochet and then join it to the beginning single crochet. So the top of one right there. Okay, so you can see it's not twisted at all and it's a great thing. So if it is twisting on you just make sure you untwist it before you go any further in this particular pattern. So let's move up to rows number two and three. So two and three are going to be repeating after we get this one set done. So let's do row number uh, two first. So we're gonna chain up two and we're going to do back loops uh, half double crochets. So if you're new to crochet each one of the strands represents two strings. The first strand, string is the front loop and the second string is the back loop. Together they're made up, a, they're called a stitch. So what you need to do is that now that we chained up we want to wrap the hook in going into the back loop only. Okay, of the same stitch and just um, half double crochet. So in this particular pattern the chain two never counts as any stitch. It's more of a builder so don't accidentally count that as a stitch. So just con continue just a half double crochet in the back loops all the way around for round number two. Okay, so half double crochet back loops all the way around for number two and I'll meet you back here in just a moment. So I'm coming all the way back around for round number two. It's just a half double crochet in each. If you think that there's two stitches left at this point you are wrong. So just be aware of this. So this one here leans into this one here so it's part of that. So just don't confuse this final in thinking that there's more stitches than there is. Okay, so you, a lot of people think that this is a stitch but it's not. So we're gonna just join it to the beginning half double crochet. So that was round number two. Remember how to do that because you're gonna need to do that several more times coming up future in this tutorial. So round number three is very very simple. So we're just gonna chain one and starting in the same one right underneath and in every stitch all the way around it's just a single crochet. So that's gonna complete off round number three of just single crochet. When I come back I'm gonna show you where I made a mistake on the prototype when I was learning how to do this particular hat. I wanna show you where I went wrong in the pattern because you may do the same thing and I'm gonna get you on the right track plus then get you to do the rest of the repeats that you need to do of rounds uh, two and three in order to meet me back up so that we can start decreasing it for the crown for the top of the hat. So let's uh, get me uh, past this part of the tutorial and I'll meet you back here in just a moment. So as I come back all the way around it's just single crochets into each and then I just join it to the beginning single crochet. So that was round number three. So let me take it to the pattern and show you what to do next because we need to do this round several more times in order to complete. So I'll see you with the pattern in just a moment. So in today's pattern you're going to notice that they're having ridges effect and when I look at the other ones that I have done already. So you're gonna notice that there is a ridging line look to it. Now on the original prototype what I did is that I accidentally screwed up on what I'm about to show you now and that I had one of the ridges that it looked like it was too far apart from each other and it was right where I'm about to show you on the pattern. So you can see that each one of these ridges looks is equal all the way to the very top of the hat. So what this, what this is happening is on the pattern is that we're now on rounds, we're just past round number three and it says repeats round second and third and it's in green of the adult size four more times. And then it says repeat round two once more. Now this is what I did on the prototype. I never saw this repeat uh, two. I don't know what I was looking at, probably nothing. So I completely miss that. So it throws those alignments out if you're doing that. So I, you end up with two single crochet lines in a row which makes it wrong. So what I did on a piece of paper is that I gotta repeat this four more times. So I've written two and three, two and three, two and three, two and three. That's four times and then I just said plus two which is the round number two. So what I want you to do is that I want you to repeat rounds two and three four more times and then do round number two once more and then we're gonna start doing the, the crown. So let me just get you started on that and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So in repeating rounds two and three remember that we started off with chaining a two does not count as a stitch. You're going to just half double crochet 
into each stitch going all the way around and then in round number three you're just gonna do single crochets all the way around. So please repeat rounds two and three four more times and then come back and do this round which is round number two once more and then meet me back here in just a moment where I'm gonna take you through the decreasing of the crown. I've done my repeats now of rounds two and three continuing along until I got to what I needed to do like the repeating of uh, four times and then what I have here is that I finished on round number two and now I'm ready for the crown. But let me show you what's going on with the crown here at this point. So here's the pattern here and I wanna show you something that you may think is an error but it's not. So it says shape the crown and we're gonna start here and we're gonna just concentrate on the green numbers where it's suggesting to and you'll notice that round two and alternative rounds it's kind of a weird name isn't it? But if you look up here it says round three but where's four and then where's six and then where's eight. So this one here rounds two and alternative rounds is that every time that there's one missing so number four, six and eight is this instruction here. So instead of the designer typing this out many times there she's just telling you to come back here and do it. So we're going to do this. What you're also going to notice is that whenever we do the decrease on this particular pattern it's always gonna be on the single crochet line okay up until round number 10. So every time we're in these ones here and that's why it's giving you those specific instructions here and then basically number two it's just one half double crochet in the back loops around in each stitch. So there's nothing fancy going on in this one. So all the decreasing is going on in the single crochet lines in order to make it really quite easier for you. So let's begin to go round number one of shaping the crown. So shaping the crown we're gonna chain up one and it says that we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next six. So just in the first one so just one, two, three, four, five and six. So what's gonna happen now is that the next two are gonna be together. So we just insert into the next stitch, pull through, insert into the next stitch, pull through. You have three loops on your hook, just pull through all three. So that just made two stitches into one. So the repeat pattern for number one round is six stitches in a row. So one, two, three, four, five and six and then the next two are together. So just pull through, pull through, pull through all three. Please do that for the remainder of round number one. Coming up to the end of round number one the final two stitches are two together and that's just keeping in count and then I just join it to the top of the beginning single crochet. So if you did not have that and you were left with one stitch instead of two when you had to do that I would have just single crocheted. Right now it's about keeping in balance so if you have to fake it or make it that's where you would have done it is right here. So let's move along to round number two. Round number two is an alternative round uh, as well so it's just chain up two and then half double crochet into each stitch going all the way around. So this is round number two and we're gonna be doing this round several times before we get to the end of this project. So just single crochet in each stitch going all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of this revolution. So I'm coming up all the way around on round number two. Joining it to the top of the first half double crochet. So you're going to notice it's gonna get smaller and smaller on the top end here. Let's move along to round number three. In round number three we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna do another decreasing round. So we have to uh, single crochet five in a row this time. So one, two, three, four and five and then just the next two are together. So for round number three it's five. So it's one, two, three, four and five and the next two are together. Please do that all the way around. Coming up all the way around on round number um, three what we have here is that the final is two together and then just join it to the top of the beginning single crochet. Let's begin round number four. Round number four is an alternative round so it is just one half double crochet into each so you chain up two and then do one half double crochet in each back loop going all the way around. That's round number four. We'll see you at the end of this round. Coming up all the way around on round number four we're gonna move on to round number five. So let's just join it to the top of the beginning half double crochet. Okay so round number five we're gonna do a decrease again. So we're gonna chain up one and this time it's in the four. So there's gonna be four single crochets in a row and then two together. 
Okay, so these next two become together. And then do four again. So one, two, three, and four. And the next two are together. Please do that for round number five all the way around. So the final two come in together and round number five is going to be together. Okay, so let's move on and we're gonna do an alternative round now for round number six. Chain up two and it's just a half double crochets once again all the way around. Okay, so please do that for round number six and half double crochets and back loops all the way around. Coming up all the way around on round number six is just half double crochets in the back loops. Let's just join it to the beginning half double crochet. Let's move along to round number seven. Number seven is also a decrease round. We're gonna chain up one and in number seven we're going to do three half double crochets in a row. So one, two, and three and then the next two are together. Okay, so it's one, two, and three and the next two are together. So please do that all the way around. Coming up all the way back around uh, the last one is two together and join with the single crochet and that was round number seven. We're now going to just uh, do the final alternative round. It switches round number two again. So chain up two and then half double crochet in the back loop of each one of the stitches going all the way around. So this is round number eight and when we come back then we're going to then really barrel our way to finishing the rest of this hat really quite quickly. So let's just do this half double crochet in the back loops all the way around. Finishing up round number eight, just join it to the beginning half double crochet. So nine, ten, and eleven are going to all be decreasing rounds. You can see we still have a small hole at the top and now let's begin round number nine. So round number nine what we're going to do is that we're gonna chain up one and then it's half double, sorry, single crochet in the next two and then the next two are together. Okay, so this round for number nine is the next two are by themselves and then the next two are together. So please do that same thing going all the way around this hat. Finishing up round number nine, the last two are two together and let's move along, join it and then be, move along to round number ten. So round number ten we're going to do half double crochet decreases. So we're gonna start off and we're gonna chain two and we're gonna half double crochet into the first one, into the back loops, okay. And now the next two are gonna be two together for the back loop of half double crochet. How you do that is wrap the hook going into the back loop only of the next stitch. Pull through and hold that on your hook. The next one is in the next stitch. So wrap going into the next back loop, pull it through. You have five loops on your hook. Pull through all five loops and that's two together for half double crochet. So the repeat pattern on this one is the next one is a half double crochet and then the next two are together. So wrap into the back loop, pull through, wrap going into the next stitch for the back loop, pull through. You now have five loops on the hook, pull through all five. Please do that same thing going all the way around. This is round number ten. The final on round number ten is two half double crochets together. Okay, pull through all five loops and then just join it to the first half double crochet. So round number eleven is the final. You can see we still have a small hole and then we have to sew the remaining holes shut. So round number eleven is really quite easy. We're gonna chain up one and we're gonna put the two together. So just come right in and put two of the next stitches together for single crochets and work along and then put two together all the way around. Okay, so just going into every stitch and just pull the next stitch together with it. So do that for this one. This is called two together for single crochet all the way around. So I'm coming up near the end. The last two are together and then just join it to the beginning two together that you started with. So what I want you to do, so now we've joined, we still have a hole to finish off and what I need you to do is cut that string about twelve inches long and pull the remaining string through that loop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a darning needle and finish off the top here and close it in. So how we're gonna do that is to just put the yarn through the needle and we're going to go around the top of the perimeter. Okay, so do you see that you still got a hole? So I want you to just like whip stitch just going in and out of the stitches of the remaining. I pull it tight at the end once I've gone all the way around just to make sure it's, e it's just easier to, to see them all when it's in relaxed format plus I enjoy pulling it together anyway. <laughs> so um, continuing along just 
I'm gonna close it off and then I go back through the, the first one just to make sure that I did get all the way around. So I just got one more to go. Okay, so now that I've done that, so I'm just gonna hold it, okay, and it's gonna just pull everything shut right at the top. And now I'm gonna take the needle, just go across, diagonally across. Just watch yourself, don't stab yourself. And I just wanna gap, capture into the fibers, so just across. And then I wanna go diagonally across as well. So you don't want any uh, really, you just gotta watch this. You don't want any weird things going on at the top. So now that I've done that, I'm going to just open this up and I'm gonna stick the needle down through the middle. I don't wanna prick myself on the other side. And let's turn this hat inside out and pull it through. So I wanna tie this shut just around some fibers at the top. And once I'm satisfied with it, I can trim it. But we're not quite done yet. We just gotta do that first string that we started off with at the brim. Okay, so that's nice and tight. So now coming back to the brim where I started with, I wanna put this strand on the needle. Now you don't want any loose ends hanging out, especially on a brim. So what you wanna just do is that you wanna glide it through underneath for about an inch, okay? And then just turn around and go back in the other direction for about an inch. Just go through some different fibers so it, it's in a different path. And then just one more time across. So if you do it three times in a row, that this will never fall out because your project can never stretch in three different directions at one time. So then you can safely just cut it right down. So now you can just put it back to the way it should be and now you can just shape it. You might notice that it's quite pointy because you've just crocheted it. Okay, so like this. So you're just gonna shape things, stretch things out and there is your adult size version of this hat and this is the Family Ridges hat. So till next time, I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Have a great day. We'll see you again. Bye. -bye.